start with contracting sprites. Chapter 341, Their Legacies In the empty void, Su Hao felt as if he was swimming in the universe with floating stars. Su Hao strolled on. This holy temple represented infinity. There were infinite possibilities here. Among the many inheritances, it was one of the highest. He picked this one because he wanted to see what would happen. Even Sun Sun gave up and chose a temple in the middle segment. I am much better than him, but... There was a 90% chance that Su Hao would be rejected. However, Su Hao still needed to try. Otherwise, he wouldn't get his thoughts sorted out. What if... In the inheritance space, Su Hao stepped forward lightly as if he was afloat. Wherever he passed, circles of light-colored rings emerged from under his feet, like ripples on a lake. Here, there was almost no concept of time. Su Hao didn't take out his phone either. He just walked and waited. According to the Bright Crystal King Knight, the longest period of testing was 30 minutes. The longer he took to be approved, the more mediocre he was. However, Su Hao wouldn't be rejected too quickly. It also wasn't possible for the inheritance to welcome him eagerly. Su Hao waited for a very, very long time, so long that he started losing hope in himself. Suddenly, the environment changed. Countless rings appeared in the air. Some were alone, some were connected in groups of four or six, and some were so far away that it was impossible to see the end of them. At the same time, Su Hao had an epiphany. The decision had been made. The inheritance had begun. However, it kind of feels like this holy temple has been around for too long without a suitable successor. Is that why it lowered its conditions and accepted me with some disdain? I'm actually being looked down upon. How could this be? Well, I'll still gladly accept it. After all, it's a top-notch inheritance. At one point, Su Hao suddenly realized that the power of inheritance was hidden in the rings in the void. Looking at the single ring closest to him, Su Hao extended his hand and had the urge to fly. And so. He started flying. He arrived in front of the white ring, and in an instant, the ring shattered into countless white particles that fused into his body. He could feel that his soul power had increased again. Even his physical fitness had improved. At the same time, some information fragments entered his mind. It was information about the infinity inheritance. It was different from the information he unlocked from the interface. It was like it was forcefully imprinted in his mind and so would never be forgotten. However, he had to go over the information and learn it over and over again before he could grasp it. As expected, the interface was still superior. Ding dong. Intelligence points plus one. Ding dong. Intelligence points plus three. Ding dong. Intelligence points plus nine. Ding dong. In his ears, the notifications on the interface kept ringing. In order to allow himself to focus on his studies, Su Hao had no choice but to deactivate the notifications. In the inheritance space, there was no time. Naturally, one would also not feel hunger nor have to deal with problems such as defecation. After an unknown period of time, Su Hao had already finished absorbing all the single rings. After a while, his head started to swell. Su Hao continued forward and arrived in front of the first ring. Two white rings were connected together, rotating slowly. After staring at it for a while, he came to a realization. He needed to remove the two rings from each other to obtain the inheritance. From now on, Su Hao would have to rely on his own capabilities to obtain as many inheritances as he could. The two rings actually contain two different elemental powers that are intertwined. What I need to do now is to separate the two different energies and draw them into the two rings. Su Hao thought for a while and soon had an answer. Still following the rules of the inheritance space, he reached out and fiddled with them. Soon, the two intertwined rings were separated and shattered into countless light particles that entered Su Hao's body. I am indeed talented. Su Hao went straight up and unlocked all the double rings, three rings, and four rings. 
the power of the inheritance enveloped his entire body. His body was filled with explosive power, and his soul power was also abundant. He felt as if he would not tire even after seven days and nights. But soon. What? Su Hao stared at the seven entangled rings in front of him and fell into deep thought, deep in thought, deep in thought. He felt that he would not be able to pass this stage. When he looked up again, there were still dense rings ahead that stretched endlessly. There seems to be too many rings. Furthermore, I can only stay in the inheritance space for a limited amount of time. I can't continue like this. With a thought, Su Hao opened the interface. The entire map was no longer the same as before. It was no longer an illusion, but a real independent space. The temple symbols on the interface were gone, replaced by countless white circular icons. He clicked it open. Seven circles, circles containing metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning. Different properties, different energies. After waiting for a while, a line of words appeared on the icon. Plan, unlock with one intelligence point. Ding! Intelligence points deducted by one. In an instant, information surged into his mind, and Su Hao had an epiphany. So that's how it is. The methods I used before were all inefficient, wasting a lot of time. He reached out. Crack. Crack. The rings were released and countless light particles entered his body. If he moved forward, he would unlock more rings and accept the inheritance. He would take a glance at the rings and refer to the methods he used before. This process repeated. Su Hao's figure kept shuttling through the inheritance space. As the number of rings decreased, the entire void became increasingly bright. It was as if. The holy temple was also surprised by Su Hao. It felt as if the temple was saying, Hey! The inheritor that was let in after relaxing requirements is actually so strong. At the same time, in a vast inheritance space with straight streaks of light in the sky, monsters with no faces and wielding swords leaped out of the huge cracks and charged into the sky, emitting endless light and heat. Squawk! The dumb crow cried out and extended the fire feather saber. When a faceless monster pounced in front of it, it quickly slashed down. The faceless monster swung its sword halfway and a long red slash mark appeared in front of it. In the next moment, the monster's entire body shattered into countless light particles that surged into the nerdy crow's body. Without pausing for a moment, the crow slashed at another faceless monster. Slash after slash. Red light flashed, and one faceless monster after another was shattered. However, these monsters seemed to keep coming as they continued to surge out from the huge crack. And each monster was stronger than the last. The dumb crow also felt the pressure. With a cry, the scarlet flame turned into a brilliant gold flame. Within the brilliant gold flame, there was a bit of glazed luster. Crow's eyes were sharp, reflecting the faceless monsters that pounced over. Suddenly, it slashed out with the fire feather saber. A dazzling golden blade projection pierced through heaven and earth. Dozens of faceless monsters that charged towards the crow turned into specks of light and dissipated. The power of the inheritance surged in. The energy consumed in the crow's body recovered a little. The dazed crow's eyes turned brighter. Bit by bit, it absorbed the power of the inheritance. The crow's aura became increasingly sharp as it crossed its two blades. It began to dance within the inheritance space. Blazing, eye-piercing saber flares slashed out continuously. Even though the faceless monsters were getting stronger, the dumb crow didn't cower in the slightest. Instead, the battle grew fiercer and fiercer. It cried out, spread its wings, and transformed into a stream of light that charged forward. In midair, its body twisted and spun as it slashed out countless beams of red light. The monster that had just emerged from the giant crack froze and turned into specks of light. Chapter 342, The Respective Inheritances In the lightning inheritance space. Boom. Boom. This space was not empty. The environment was like the peak of a tall mountain. 
As far as the eye could see, the entire mountaintop was very wide and flat. There were no trees or rocks, as if the land had been flattened by some mighty force. The peak of the mountain was densely covered with dark clouds. Countless bluish-purple lightning arcs were faintly visible within the clouds. From time to time, thick bolts of lightning would fall from the sky and bombard the only figure on the platform. Howl! 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 A thunder-roaring wearing mighty armor flew rapidly on the platform towards the peak of the mountain. However, even though the bear was as fast as lightning and had even transformed into a ball of lightning, the thick lightning in the sky that was close to hitting the ground could still make a 90-degree turn and chase after the big fat bear. Boom! Howl! Boom! Howl! The thick lightning arc struck the big fat bear, and dazzling lightning enveloped it. The bear was clearly lightning attributed, and its battle armor could block all kinds of attacks. However, the fat bear was still screaming from the electricity. Pain. They were all lies. How did the inheritance turn into this? The fat bear continued to run, crying as it ran, enduring the baptism of lightning. When it could not hold on any longer, a ball of white light emerged from its body and wisps of power flowed into the bear's body. Gradually, the fur under the Thunder God battle armor became brighter, and started glowing and emitting an aura. The inheritance information flowed into the bear's mind. However, Big Fat Bear did not care about all these. It only cared about one thing. And that was how much longer would it have to endure these lightning bolts? In the cloud rain inheritance space. Heavy rain poured down, lightning flashed and thunder rumbled. On the boundless sea surface, waves were surging. Before long, the heavy rain gradually subsided, and the thick dark clouds that covered the sky also vanished in an instant. Nine dazzling, white, and dazzling suns appeared in the sky, hanging high in the clear sky, releasing endless heat. In a short while, the temperature rose rapidly, the nine suns were roasting the sea surface, the air was distorted from the heat. The endless sea seemed to be evaporating. Nah! On the surface of the sea, dumb unicorn, who was running non-stop, shook its head and pondered for a while. Then, it started running at an even faster speed. Wherever it went, its hooves stomped heavily on the surface of the sea, causing countless splashes. Under its control, sparkling water droplets shot into the sky against gravity. Many water droplets evaporated in mid-air, but at the same time, clouds quietly gathered in the sky and under the sun. Gradually, the clouds covered the nine suns, which were emitting endless light and heat waves. Water blue clouds kept appearing around dumb unicorn. Countless water elemental particles resonated with its bloodline under its control, turning into auspicious clouds. The clouds spread, blocking the light. The blazing sun gradually faded behind the clouds. The sky turned dark. The wind began to blow. Thunder rumbled. Splash. Raindrops the size of beans fell from the dark clouds and turned into heavy rain in the blink of an eye. On the calm sea, huge waves rose again. The torrential rain lasted for a while, and after the power supply ended, it slowly stopped. The dark clouds in the sky gradually dissipated. At this moment, behind the scattered dark clouds was not the nine blazing suns. Instead, colorful clouds appeared in the sky and slowly descended, surrounding the dumb unicorn. In the yin-yang inheritance space. On the ground, the eternal night glory concubine sat cross-legged. The dress on her body was half black and half white, with light flowing around it. It slowly raised its hands, and two black balls appeared in its palms. They were dark energy balls. But when one sensed carefully, one could clearly discover the difference between the two energy balls. It was as if every type of energy innately had two opposing sides of yin and yang. Efu, who was good at maintaining balance between light and darkness, quickly understood the core of the yin-yang balance. It gave the inheritance test a try. Two black energy balls circled around its body and slowly rotated bringing with them dense elemental particles around it. Like a tail, the particles hung behind the two dark energy balls. 
Like two black fish, they circled around Efu. The balls maintained a delicate balance. Eternal Night Glory Concubine raised its hand again. Its clothes and energy halo didn't change. Two light energy balls appeared in the palm of its fair palm. They also spun like dark energy balls, dragging a long tail. The four energy balls surrounded it from top to bottom. One, two, three. They kept spinning. The balls brought along the rich elemental particles in the inheritance space. Gradually, the commotion became greater and greater. The two elemental particles of light and darkness slowly spread out like a flowing ring. Time passed. Even the active Iha had entered the inheritance state at this moment. Its consciousness became calm, and together with Fufu, they cooperated to control the elements flowing in the space. From light and darkness to various attributes. With its tiny body as the core, the whole space seemed to be stirred up. Countless elements spun, as if they would explode in the next moment due to the elemental conflict. But it did not explode. The delicate balance was maintained all the time. As time passed, it gradually expanded. Until it covered the entire space. In the shadow inheritance space. Thick shadow energy turned into black smoke, drifting and filling the whole space. There was no light. There were no other signs of life. Since Ayan usually hid in the shadows, it felt like it had returned home. It reached out and grabbed a wisp of black smoke sucking it in. In an instant. It felt that its body was filled with a trace of energy, and there were even some inheritance fragments appearing in its mind. Hoo-hoo. Ayan's body floated forward and kept swallowing. Be it the black smoke as thick as a strand of hair or the thick smoke cloud that looked like a huge black python, all of the smoke was sucked in without resistance. Some of the smoke particles even delivered themselves into Ayan's mouth. In the gloomy space, Ayan's clothes fluttered. Thick shadow energy lingered around its body, and its aura kept rising. It was as if living ghost shadows appeared behind it. A pressure unique to the Yama Ghost King spread out, covering the whole space like a brilliant heavenly might. But, when Ayan swallowed a huge black cloud and burped, it was still a little puzzled. Is the inheritance supposed to be so easy to get? When other seniors obtain the inheritance, aren't there supposed to be difficult tests? Where's the test? According to the lessons it learned from the battles in its mobile game, Ayan knew it should never be careless even when things were going well. Right now, it was very likely just the calm before the storm. Ayan thought about it and looked around warily. It entered battle mode. In the holy temple area. Time passed slowly. At this moment, most of the inheritors and sprites from the various countries were already inside the various halls, receiving their inheritances. The whole area gradually became as quiet as before. On a certain day, at the last segment of the area, the door of the temple, which was engraved with rings connected to each other, opened with a bang. Chapter 343, Rewards, Improvement Sunlight shone on Su Hao's face. In a daze, Su Hao realized that he had already walked out of the holy temple. At some point, the door behind him had already closed tightly. The circular engraving on the door of the hall also seemed to have become dimmer, no longer vaguely emitting a mysterious and profound aura. It was as if the entire holy temple had fallen into a dormant state. This shouldn't be, Su Hao took a few steps forward and looked up again. At this moment, the palace in his perception had indeed become ordinary. Could it be that a holy temple can only give out one inheritance once every three years? He thought about it and shook his head again. Obviously not. There were only 108 holy temples in the entire area. If half or two-thirds were taken away, there would only be 30 to 50 holy temples with lower inheritance conditions. And considering that there were seven of them and each of them had their own sprites, there were about 50 individuals in the area. It was impossible for a holy temple to only provide one inheritance. According to the Bright Crystal King Knight, some temples could even accommodate two or three sprites to receive the inheritance together as long as the second sprite pressed on the door, the door could be opened. 
he looked at the dim and no longer mysterious infinite mark and could only come to a conclusion. Maybe it's because top-notch inheritances have relatively bad tempers. These temples were probably only open for a short while. Holy temple, screw you. Back in the inheritance space, Su Hao was too engrossed in cracking the ring. It was only now that Su Hao had come out after receiving the inheritance that he had the time to carefully experience his gains. Firstly, in terms of physique, I feel like I am now able to kill, an elephant with one punch. He thought and realized that he had never seen an elephant either. He had only seen armored elephants, elephant generals, and the like. They were hard to compare. Su Hao looked into the distance at the lush trees. But after thinking about it, he felt that destroying the trees in the holy temple area to test his strength was still a little, uncivilized. Although he had just obtained the inheritance of the holy temple and wanted to follow his heart, he couldn't bear to do it. Let's try something else. Su Hao reached out, opened his palm, and stared for two to three seconds. Who? A cluster of orange-red flames emerged from his palm. He clenched his fingers and touched it. There was no burning sensation, but he felt a little hot, as if he was holding a heat pack. The flame lasted for a moment before being extinguished. But the next moment, a ball of water appeared in his palm again. Lightning, wood element life force, dark shadow black smoke. Su Hao was having a great time playing with different types of energies. After all, the sprites raised by his family had all kinds of extraordinary abilities but he never got to experience the abilities himself. It was so fun. These abilities are very weak in destructive power. They're inferior to my punches and kicks, but from now on, I'm also someone who can cheat. For example, Lan Qing, the Sun Sun, and the others could cast a strong buff on their sprites, increasing their various abilities in a short period of time. This ability should be extended from my previous soul characteristics. It's not limited to a single attribute. But still, my strength is much weaker than Lan Qing and the others. Lan Qing could rely on her own strength to stir up strong wines and even fly. Su so Hao couldn't do any of that. But it was a good start after all. Apart from that, there's a lot of knowledge in my head. I need time to sort it out. And. He glanced at the interface. At this moment, the intelligence points in the upper right corner almost exploded. There were more than 2,000 points. At the moment, dozens of intelligence points could already fill up a sprite's cultivation plan to the brim. What could 2,000 intelligence points do? Su so Hao hadn't thought about it. But at least, Butterfly and the others wouldn't have any problems for their future fifth and sixth stage advancement. With so many intelligence points now, maybe I can try writing some more useful papers. He thought. Suddenly, he heard another ding. A interface upgrade prompt appeared. In the next moment, the interface in front of him turned into a data stream, washing continuously like a waterfall. This only lasted for a few seconds before it returned to normal. The upgraded ding-dong sound rang in his ears. He checked. The interface hasn't changed much, just like the last upgrade, it only reduced some deduction fees. This means that my foundation is more solid. Apart from that, there's the advanced plan. I can get a free service. So how casually opened a promotion list. Advancement Direction 1. Light and Darkness Body Evolution, Compatibility, 98%, Unlocked. 2. Dark Light Evolution, Compatibility, 96%, Unlock with 612 Intelligence Points. He tapped on the deduction. Just then, the unlocking column became a countdown. Deduction remaining time, 143, 59, 52. In short, the benefit I have received is that the interface has more discounts. My eyes can also see deeper and it's easier for me to unlock plans. Well, I also learned a commonly used language. No, no, it's just imprinted in my mind. There seems to be a seed of language, but I'm still far from learning it and being able to use it. 
Su Hao thought about it carefully. It should be the special language that anyone can understand that Duke Andre mentioned. Apart from using it for general usage, the power of this sprite commandeering can still be increased by a few levels. In fact, this language itself is meant for sprite commandeering. It's a special ability. Naturally, he also learned a few forms of high-level sprite commandeering in the inheritance space. But compared to other gains, it seemed insignificant. He almost forgot that there was still a sprite trainer. Su Hao looked towards the interface. For the first time, a plan about himself that he could unlock appeared. Spirit summoning language, unlearned, unlock with 630 intelligence points. The unlock here should be. Two days had already passed since they arrived at the Holy Temple area. Most people and sprites were in the Holy Temple at this moment, accepting the inheritance. But there were also a few sprites and sprite trainers who had already stepped out of the temples. When Su Hao walked to the front, he saw from afar. On the empty square at the entrance, a few sprites with strong auras were sprinkling their energy, absorbing and digesting the inheritance they had received. With just his eyes, Su Hao could tell that they were much stronger than before receiving the inheritance. The upper limit of their potential had increased even more. After observing for a while, Su Hao discovered that, it was even easier for these sprites to advance and evolve compared to before. Even if it didn't advance, there was still a slight possibility of them breaking through to monarch rank. Naturally, he also saw the bright crystal king knight watching a movie from afar. At this moment. At this moment, Su Hao turned his head and sensed a figure that looked like a blazing sun walking over from afar. It was the sun's sun. The light on his body became even brighter. Every move he made sparked the fire elements in the world. On his forehead, a flame mark was fluctuating. It was truly like a blazing sun. With just one look, he could tell that the sun sun had gained a lot from the holy temple. Sun Sun kept walking and came in front of Su Hao. With a smile, he asked in fluent Dragon Nation language, Did you also just come out of the Temple of Inheritance? Without waiting for Su Hao to answer, the Sun Sun continued. I entered the 36th Temple on the right, Blazing Sun Temple. Not far away, another sprite trainer who had already received the inheritance stopped in his tracks. He felt that he couldn't interrupt the conversation between the big bosses. Blazing Sun Su Hao also had an impression of this holy temple. After all, its compatibility with the Dazed Crow was pretty high on the surface. The temple belonged in the middle segment and was closer to the last segment. Su Hao was a little surprised. The Sun Sun was rejected by a fire element holy temple in the middle segment, but he was actually acknowledged by a holy temple with slightly higher inheritance. Seeing his surprise, the smile on the Sun Sun's face became even brighter. Then, Sun Sun heard Su Hao say. What I entered was the Infinity Temple. I don't even know how far back it was. Oh, it's the one with the rings on the door. The Sun Sun was still smiling. But his expression gradually stiffened. In his mind, he finally found the location of the holy temple with the rings. He seemed to recall that it was, one of the temples that were at the very end. What the hell? Chapter 344, The Sprites Come Out, Strength Increased Sharply For the Sun Sun, he was originally very happy to have obtained the recognition of a high-level inheritance, and have his own strength and foundation greatly improved. But why was it that his strong rival had easily obtained the recognition of a top-notch inheritance? He was especially frustrated because, he had also tried the inheritance of the Infinity Temple back then. In less than two minutes, he was expelled. At this moment, the Sun Sun was a little skeptical about life. Infinity Inheritance At the side, the bright Crystal King Horse's bewildered voice came. It stared at Su Hao for a long time and said, there is indeed an aura in you that shares the same origin as that holy temple, but... If it's a top-notch inheritance, why did you only stay for a day or two before coming out? The bright crystal king knight was confused. 
The bright crystal king knight had said before that they needed to reserve an extra two to three days. His words were targeted at ordinary inheritances and high-level inheritances. Top-notch inheritances were different. There was a lot of inheritance information, and the time the inheritor required was correspondingly much longer. Logically speaking, it shouldn't be possible. Being stared at by the bright crystal king knight in surprise and wonder, Su Hao started to recall his inheritance experience. He didn't seem to think it was any different. Su Hao found it to be a very conventional way of completing the test and obtaining the inheritance. Maybe it's because top-notch inheritances don't like to be opened for too long. Cough, maybe it's because after such a long time, the temple's energy isn't quite enough. Is that so? The bright crystal king knight felt that something was wrong, but its understanding of the inheritances of the various sacred halls was also limited. Perhaps the infinity inheritance itself was like this? The bright crystal king knight thought. When the sun sun heard why did you complete it so fast, he couldn't help but feel a hint of joy in his heart. Su so Hao may have received a top-notch inheritance, but the time he spent in the inheritance space was probably shorter. Perhaps, his own inheritance gains were not inferior to the six god of dragon nation. In the blink of an eye, Sun Sun suddenly felt ashamed of his thoughts. Two emotions emerged in his mind. No matter what, he was able to calm down and didn't doubt life as much as before. Most sprite trainers and sprites started receiving their inheritances within a day or two. At this moment, one holy temple gate after another opened, and different figures walked out. Su Hao saw that the door of one of the temples opened twice, and a sprite and a sprite trainer walked out. According to the sprite trainer from Bull Nation, Antonio didn't encounter any other sprites in the inheritance space. Clearly, no matter how many inheritors there were, they would all be in different inheritance spaces. Then the question is, why did Infinity Temple close after only two days? Sprite trainers generally spent less time in the inheritance space than sprites. In just a few hours after Su Hao came out, sprite trainers from Bull Nation, White Bear Nation, and Bull Nation walked out one after another, talking about their gains from the inheritance space. They all had pretty good gains. But it also depended on who was being compared to. Among the few of them, only Bella received a high-level inheritance. When she walked out of the holy temple, she walked over with her cold aura, and an ice prism mark appeared on her forehead. It was even more beautiful than the ice prism that appeared when she was at her peak during the battle. It had a noble aura, like a king of ice and snow. But. Her inheritance is inferior to mine. Sun Sun secretly compared his inheritance with Bella's and revealed a confident smile. Although I lost to the Six God in the Supernova Cup, my achievements in the inheritance won't be weaker than his. In the future. His thoughts were still drifting when suddenly, he felt something. The wind in the entire temple area suddenly felt different. The mood seemed to have become happy and excited, welcoming the arrival of a certain existence. Which wind element sprite is causing a change in the whole world? Sun Sun turned his head and looked into the distance. The sprite trainers and sprites who gradually sensed the abnormality also looked over. A figure appeared in their vision. Her long hair fluttered in the wind, bringing with it an ethereal aura. She was like a girl from a painting. Oh, she was floating. Green wind swirled around her body, lifting her light body as she walked forward. Behind the girl, a big green bird spread its wings and flew. The big bird had a body similar to a peacock. Its tail feathers were sharp and long, as if it was dragging a few green ribbons. On a closer look, the green bird's wings flapped slightly. Fire was burning on its wings. Sprite, Flaming Green Phoenix. It was a wind and fire dual element sprite. If I remember correctly, Lan Qing, you didn't have such a sprite in the past, right? She nodded. Green wind swirled around her, and her long black hair danced in the air. Her long legs landed on the ground, making her look like an aloof queen in the wind. But the next moment. Buzz. Buzz. As expected, the sprite commandeering wristband vibrated. 
Su Hao picked it up and took a look. Lan Qing, I had just contracted Little Qing in the Holy Temple, slash, slash. Su Hao. Su Hao, if I remember correctly, the flaming green phoenix is the final evolved form of the green-winged bird. And your one, ahem, is extraordinary, right? Lan Qing, scratching my head. JPG. Lan Qing, I don't know either. In the inheritance space, I seemed to be in a daze when I contracted Little Qing. Maybe it was a gift from the inheritance of the Holy Temple. Don't you have one? Lan Qing, cat question. JPG. Su Hao. Sun Sun. Especially the Sun Sun. Just now, he felt that he was almost on par with the Six God, or at most, slightly inferior to the Six God, but above others. In the end, it proved that he was too full of himself. Just from Lan Qing's aura and the phenomena around her, the Sun Sun knew that Lan Qing's results in the inheritance process were no less than his. However, she even had an additional flaming green phoenix with excellent potential. In the blink of an eye, the flaming green phoenix found a holy temple and went on to accept the inheritance. Is that allowed? The bright crystal king knight expressed that it had never seen something like this. It was even more frustrating for the sun sun. It was as if an arrow had been shot from his heart, and his whole body had split open from the inside. I am too weak. Time passed. As Su Hao summarized and recollected the inheritance information in his mind, he opened the interface to take a look at the situation of Butterfly and the others. At noon on the third day, the big fat bear walked out of the holy temple. The bear seemed to have lost its entire soul, it even dragged its feet on the ground when it walked. But from the interface, Su Hao saw that the big fat bear had already improved greatly. Its strength had increased a lot compared to before the inheritance. Its development level had already reached an extraordinary high level. It spared Su Hao from a few months' work of cultivation and valuable cultivation treasure. With the big fat bear's current talent, even if it didn't advance any further, it could easily break through to monarch rank. It was 18 streets away from the other thunder roarings. Besides, many conditions have been met during the bear advancement. By the time the ritual is set up, we'll only need one main ingredient and several supplementary materials. The other sprites who received the inheritance were the same. It was as if they had all figured out the path of evolution in the future. Everything became easier. However, Su Hao still had a lot to do. He had only benefited by saving around 100 million yuan. On the other hand, he checked on the big fat bear interface, under the talent column. Apart from the LV4 Thunder element control and the increasingly complete nomological mark. Body of Thunder, refine endless lightning and forge an immortal body. Body of Thunder. 1. Stage 1, Body Strength, Energy Reserve, Small Improvement in Thunder Quality, Unlock the first stage of cultivation with 210 Intelligence Points. 2. Stage 2, Body Strength, Energy Reserve. Mid-level improvement thunder quality, 310 intelligence points unlock the second stage of cultivation. 3. Stage 3, body strength, energy reserve, great improvement in the thunder quality, and will contain the thunder indestructible characteristic. 520 intelligence points unlock the third stage of cultivation. After sizing the talent up briefly, Su so Hao was speechless. The talent also extended a secret manual Thunder God Overlord body, unlock with 625 intelligence points, which was compatible with the big fat bear's intestines. Not only could it take the most vicious beating, but it could also be as motionless as a mountain when it was being beaten. It was great. Not bad, not bad at all. Su so Hao patted the big fat bear's big belly and wanted to reward it. Oh, I forgot. Snacks and cell phones were all in Ayan's pocket. He didn't have any on him. Bear. But after being praised by the sprite trainer, the big fat bear was still very happy. The pain from being continuously struck by lightning at the peak of the mountain also seemed to have eased a little. Well, just a little. The bear was still in a lot of pain and needed comfort. 
it wanted to see Su Hao look over. Su Hao caught a glance of the huge bear surrounded by thunder. With a smile on his face, he said, the talent body of thunder is very compatible with you. However, if you want to bring out the talent effect, you still need to continue cultivating. Don't worry, I've improved the cultivation method of the inheritance. The time can be shortened a little. It's just that you have to endure more lightning strikes in a short period of time. Big Fat Bear It was clearly a sunny afternoon, and the bear clearly had a thick layer of hair, but it was still covered in cold sweat, its limbs started to turn cold. When will bear get what it wants? Sob Sprites walked out of the temple one after another. The explosive power made them look majestic and powerful. The holy temple area itself was also a top-level cultivation area. The elemental particles of various elements were extremely dense. The sprites used the environment here to consolidate their inheritance gains. The big fat bear didn't have a cell phone the bright crystal king knight did, but the bear didn't dare to use it. Under such circumstances, it could only obediently cultivate quietly like the other sprites. With the inheritance, accumulation and the enhanced cultivation manual, it didn't take long for the big fat bear's thunder body talent to reach the second stage. The thunder god overlord body was also officially cultivated. Its battle power was at least several times higher than before. After the big fat bear came the dumb unicorn. It didn't obtain any new talent, but its original talent, Mist Cloud, had been integrated with many new abilities, and had already been modified and strengthened. Two branches, Wind Rain Summoning and Cloud Riding Mist appeared. One of them was to greatly increase its ability to control the heaven and earth elements. Another allowed the auspicious cloud to take advantage of its cool-looking water mist. The speed at which the dumb unicorn flew was also much faster than before. How fast was it exactly? There was only so much land in the holy temple area, so Su Hao couldn't test it out. Su Hao only knew that his sense of security had become even greater. The third to come out was the Eternal Night Glory Concubine. Apart from various improvements, it had an additional union with Heaven State, which was also categorized by the interface as a talent column. The Eternal Night Glory Concubine, who walked out of the Holy Temple, had a halo of aura around it. It was as if the halo was able to calm its heart just by staying by its side. Its thoughts became very agile, and some questions that it originally couldn't figure out were now easier to answer. Intelligence plus one plus one plus one. Humanoid Deo Enlightenment Concubine? Fufu Fufu. The fourth sprite that walked out of the Holy Temple was the Dazed Crow. To be honest, the fact that the Dazed Crow could stay in the Holy Temple for so long was really beyond Su Hao's expectations. Especially. The dazed crow in the interface was constantly hovering between light and medium injuries. On the other hand, when it came out, its feathers were glistening brightly. It was completely unharmed and had an oppressive aura. Its eyes were very sharp, and there was a sword intent buff on his body. The swords here were similar to sabers. Because the inheritance name was sword, the name on the interface was also sword. On the talent column, there was only a common fire element control, and an additional talent named Sharp Breath appeared. It allowed the crow to unleash extremely terrifying single point damage with a casual slash. The fifth sprite to exit. Naturally, it was Ayan. When it stepped out of the sacred hall, the whole world turned cold for a moment. The next moment, Ayan turned into a shadow and flashed across the ground, entering the shadow behind Su Hao. Although it was very fast, the aura on its body that was difficult to restrain was still noticed by others. That's a pseudo-monarch rank sprite. Some people were shocked. There was a huge difference in development between an extraordinary high level and a pseudo-monarch. It was probably the difference between a sprite in between early extraordinary and high level and a sprite in between high level and pseudo-monarch. There was a more severe bottleneck. The reason it was called a pseudo-monarch was that pseudo-monarch ranks already possessed a trace of monarch rank characteristics. If not for the environment of the elemental lake narrowing the gap between the six god and the sun sun, 
it would have been very difficult for the Six God to defeat the Fire God Soldier and Grand Sun Wheel back then. Many extraordinary sprites that were already mid-level and high-level long ago had their auras increase several times after receiving the inheritance, but they were still not pseudo-monarchs. Only Bella's icebound mammoth had stepped into the pseudo-monarch realm. At this moment, six gods' sprites are improving too quickly. But the Sun Sun is still very strong. At this moment, five of the six extraordinary sprites of the Sun Sun, like him, had already walked out of the Inheritance Sacred Hall. There was only one Fire God soldier left. At a certain moment, who? Flames rushed into the sky, and dazzling flames turned into a muscular red sprite, appearing in front of everyone. At this moment, the Fire God soldier was still at the pseudo-monarch realm, but its aura was much stronger. There seemed to be fire snakes swimming around its body continuously. Once it appeared, it was as if it had the aura of a monarch, suppressing countless sprites. It made people unable to resist. Especially. Flame Law Mark. Someone discovered that a cluster of orange flames appeared on the forehead of the Fire God Soldier. They weren't ordinary flames. With a slight perception, one could discover that flames were like the incarnation of laws and were extremely explosive and fiery upon closer inspection gasp. It's actually a nomological mark that only monarch level sprites have. In that case, it won't be long before the fire god soldier can break through to monarch rank, right? Sun Sun, the new heavenly king. A few people were surprised. Even if all of them had the bearing of a heavenly king, and even if they would definitely become heavenly kings in the next few years. However, they still very much looked forward to becoming a heavenly king. Only by stepping into the heavenly king realm would it mean that one was a real expert, and not a genius with potential. Shocking and flattering voices entered his ears. The corners of Sun's son's mouth curled up slightly. As he looked at the fire god soldier, his eyes seemed to be signaling praise and surprise. Facing Su Hao, who brought him immense pressure, the Sun son had now become much more confident. No matter how terrifying your potential is, at the very least, the first person to become a heavenly king will be me. At the thought of this, he couldn't help but smile again. But soon. Wait, where's Dragon Nation Su Hao's butterfly fairy? It seems that it hasn't walked out of the Temple of Heritage yet. They originally thought that the butterfly fairy had just entered the temple at a later time. But as time passed, the fourth day, fifth day, and sixth day passed by. When the other sprites, even the flaming green phoenix that went into the temple the latest, stepped out of the sacred hall. The sun sun felt that something was wrong. Chapter 345, Unceasing Phenomenon, Leaving the Holy Temple In the area of the Holy Temple, the various sprites comprehended and digested their inheritance gains. They were all improving very quickly. Dazed Crow and the others walked out of their inheritance space. After a few days of cultivation, they were already quite familiar with the new talent abilities and secret manuals they had just learned. Su so Hao was already considering the cultivation plan for the next stage of Crow and the others. But Su so Hao also faced a problem. The little guys are improving too quickly. I'm afraid I can't catch up with them anymore. On the fourth day, it was sunny. He was thinking about his plan. On the fifth day, it was also sunny. He was thinking about his plan. On the sixth day, it was still sunny. Why isn't Butterfly out yet? Sun Sun wasn't the only one who was surprised by this. The bright Crystal King Knight, who had spent 5,000 years in the temple area and witnessed at least a hundred geniuses and thousands of sprites accepting the inheritance, was also confused. I've never seen an inheritor who has stayed in the temple for so long. It asked, when did your butterfly fairy begin her inheritance? This question. Su Hao expressed that he didn't know. The others also spent most of their time in the front and middle segments so they weren't sure either. But. The mark engraved on the temple butterfly went into seemed to have a dynamic imprint. It seems. Su Hao tried to sound uncertain and said, 
is that the one with the inheritance of simulation and transformation. It's actually that holy temple. Every sprite trainer present had briefly studied the marks carved on the doors of the 108 temples. Among them, the one that left the deepest impression on them was undoubtedly the holy temple of dynamic imprint, which was completely different from the other static imprints. It was too fancy. It was just too eye-catching to go unnoticed. Many people and sprites had secretly tried to go in, but without exception, they were all instantly kicked out. At this moment, they couldn't help but be surprised, especially since Butterfly Fairy had stayed inside for at least three days. In front of the simulation temple, the dynamic imprint would sometimes turn into flames, sometimes manifesting into water streams and other times appearing with the appearance of the most primitive particles. Su Hao, who just left the inheritance space, also had to rely on his contractual connection and telepathy to determine which temple Butterfly went into. Indeed, it's very compatible with Butterfly's illusion. Butterfly can come up with any scene, any object, and then materialize with illusion. Isn't that basically the same as simulation? Especially since it also learned the Deo of change of fire, water, and lightning. The bright crystal king knight stared at the sacred hall imprint for a long time before speaking slowly. The inheritance of this divine temple is currently underway. After all, it's a top-notch inheritance. It's normal to stay inside for a longer period of time. Probably. It added. At this moment, it was almost the end of the sixth day. According to Su Hao's deduction and judgment, Butterfly Fairy had stayed in the inheritance space for at least five days. Logically speaking, even top-level inheritances wouldn't keep one inside for so long. After all, its energy was limited. There was a limit to any inheritance. The Bright Crystal King Knight had received a top-notch inheritance when it was born 5,000 years ago. It stayed in the temple for more than three days and a half days, almost four days. But that still couldn't be compared to the duration of Butterfly's stay. It thought about it and turned to look at Su Hao, the human who had only stayed in the top-level inheritance space for less than two days. Perhaps top-notch inheritances are just different. Some are just very short and others can be extremely long. The Bright Crystal King Knight thought. It felt that he had discovered a new rule. Time passed. On the seventh day. The imprint of the Holy Temple was already very dim, but the door of the hall still didn't open. As the sun sun sorted through his gains, he would occasionally gaze towards the temple butterfly was in. The joy that the Fire God soldier brought him had faded a lot. Why is it that every time something happy happens, sadness follows? No, 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 I can't be depressed. The best way to defeat a strong enemy is to face him head on. There are differences in inheritance, but the strength of the sprite is still more important. The stronger a sprite is, the stronger it is. Period. He clenched his fists. Suddenly, his expression changed. He turned to look at the only temple that was still passing down its inheritance a few hundred meters away. At this moment, traces of extraordinary aura spread out. Under the gaze of countless sprites, the door of the holy temple opened with a bang. Dense mist filled the air. Lotuses appeared out of thin air and quietly bloomed. Suddenly, raindrops fell and gathered into a stream, accompanied by the sound of flowing water. Finally, the stream gathered into a pool of water. In the pool of water was a blooming lotus flower. On the lotus flower, clusters of orange-red flames emerged. Around the flames, wisps of blue thunder arcs appeared faintly. Countless phenomena burst forth, accompanied by crisp sounds. A figure slowly appeared. Light yellow dress, emerald green hair, sparkling precious balls surrounded it. Countless elemental particles swarmed over to welcome it as it came out of seclusion. The phenomenon lasted for dozens of seconds before it finally dissipated. At this moment, the entire temple's door had already closed. The dynamic imprints directly above were now grayish-black, no longer changing. The mysterious aura gradually disappeared. Suddenly, Butterfly's figure disappeared like a bubble with a pop. The next moment. 
Above Su Hao's head, he felt a familiar weight butterfly had instantly shrank and laid on its throne. However, Sun Sun couldn't figure out how Butterfly managed to teleport to Su Hao's head just now. There are so many phenomena, and I actually can't see through them at all. Sun Sun pondered. He had once thought that even if Butterfly Fairy was already a pseudo-monarch when she came out of seclusion, or even if a nomological mark appeared, he wouldn't be surprised anymore. But now, there were clearly strange and mysterious phenomena. There were clearly wisps of aura spreading, and Sun Sun was stunned. He couldn't tell, what realm Butterfly Fairy was it. It was because Butterfly had completely absorbed and digested the inheritance before leaving the inheritance space. Butterfly also wasn't like the other sprites who couldn't control their aura. Thinking of this, Sun Sun's pupils constricted again. The bright Crystal King Knight looked at Butterfly in bewilderment and thought about it, but after a while, it couldn't think of anything. It lay down again, and the tablet automatically floated in front of its eyes. Butterfly has only just reached pseudo-monarch rank, and it hasn't received the recognition of the nomological mark yet. At this moment, Butterfly's development level and realm had already been overtaken by Yama Ghost King. Ayan had already stabilized at the pseudo-monarch rank. According to its own estimate, it might take at least three to five days, or even a month or two before it would get the recognition of the nomological mark. Butterfly was slightly slower. It had just reached pseudo-monarch. At that time, Su Hao asked Ayan how it was able to tell that it would take a month. Ayan scratched its head, indicating that it was informed by its intuition. For Ayan, the nomological mark was within reach. The monarch realm wasn't far away either. Su Hao expressed a slight sadness. Originally, the big fat bear's development was slightly normal, and it didn't manage to get to pseudo-monarch rank in one go, which made me relax a little. But why did Ayan suddenly overtake Butterfly? Looking at the other sprites around him who were cultivating madly, hoping to use the environment here to improve himself a little more, as well as their sprite trainers, Su Hao really wanted to sigh and say to them. I really don't want my sprites to break through. So. His thoughts drifted to Butterfly again. It made Butterfly quiver. With wide eyes, it seemed to be saying, I seem to be thinking about things that I shouldn't be thinking about at my age again, gurgle. When Butterfly Fairy walked out of the inheritance space, it was already the seventh day. The last day they could stay in the temple area. As the time limit approached, many people picked up their phones and kept track of their remaining time. No one left. They just looked at the light screen at the entrance from time to time. Tick. Tick. The bright Crystal King Knight suddenly said, The time is almost up. The next moment. Buzz. A mysterious power enveloped them. Regardless of whether it was the weak sprite trainers or the powerful pseudo-monarch sprites, they were all repelled out of the area without any resistance. In the blink of an eye. Su Hao, Butterfly, and the others had already appeared in front of the huge cave covered in a seven-colored light screen outside the area of the Holy Temple. Many sprites were scattered around. Further away. There was also the old monk who led them to the entrance of the Holy Temple and a few unfamiliar faces who were already waiting there. The process of the inheritance was over. 